Welcome to the N1IR Electronics Blog video number one. Today we're going to be reviewing the Adafruit TV Be Gone kit. Here is the assembled kit. Let me zoom in a little bit on it. Basically the TV Be Gone, I ordered this from uh, Adafruit Industries and it was uh, a co-designed uh, by Mitch Altum and uh, Lady Ada. We'll go over the kit really quick. Uh, fairly easy to assemble. It's a double-sided board. Uh, it's a great kit as a uh, beginner for electronics. I'd suggest for beginners. Uh, the only thing you want to keep in mind is this transistor right here. This is a PNP transistor. It's different than these other four, so that might trip up uh, the newbies out there uh, about assembling it. Uh, another thing is is R2. Uh, R2 didn't show up on the in, on the installation instructions on uh, Lady Ada's site, so uh, that kind of put me into a panic because I thought I was missing a resistor, but it actually is not there. It's actually a optional pull down resistor for for Q5. I didn't know that until I actually opened up the schematic and took a look. Uh, another thing is over here, this resistor. Uh, this resistor, if you pl place this in, it'll select. Uh, US or Europe, keep the resistor out for US, put the resistor in if you're over in Europe. Overall, very good in construction. You have uh, it's powered by a double uh, double A's. It has four infrared LEDs, two wide angle and two narrow angle. I push the button here and you can actually see it on camera. And basically what it's doing, it's rolling through all the on-off codes for TV. So I can actually turn a TV on, I can turn a TV off. Uh, it takes probably about a minute to roll through all the codes. Um, most common TVs like LG or GE usually turn off within the first like five seconds. Uh, the weird Chinese makes in about 15 seconds and any odd ball set usually a little bit longer. So it looks like it rolls through uh, some of the common TVs first. Uh, right here we have an A-Tiny85 microcontroller. And this is also optional that you install is the ISP, uh, the in-circuit serial programmer uh, header pins. So uh, you can install them like I did so I can actually read the code and do modifications and stuff like that. But if you're just a beginner and you're not into doing microcontrol code yet, you can just leave that off. You can always add it later. Um, I've been looking at uh, making my own design. Um, a couple of changes I'm going to do. Uh, keep, keep, uh, take a look at my website uh, later on, and I'll post some of the some of the changes. Uh, some of the changes I like to do is make this a single-sided board uh, to make it easier for students to make uh, with a, either a chemical system or a mill system. Uh, the other change I want to do too. Uh, to this design is this has the wires coming in from the battery uh, they have a post system for double A's and I would extend the board out a little bit and incorporate those posts so I don't have these flexible wires that can break uh, that's really the only thing that's lacking with this kit everything else is really good um, the pads are really large easy to solder to uh, they give you some double stick tape to stick it on back of the AA batteries and it's fairly small I can cover the whole thing with my hand and just have the LEDs exposed um, I just went to a trip to Walmart my local Walmart and uh, I did turn off most of the TVs but they came on within about 15 seconds so I think Walmart is a little bit wise uh, to this type of thing. Either the TVs are in demo mode or I had a really sharp salesman keeping an eye on the TV. I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna have to try out some other TVs that like Target and stuff like that and see if it'll actually turn it off. So if you want just a little bit of a prank type uh, circuit, this is great. Um, anyone starting off in electronics, great little project to do. So it's highly recommended. And that's it on the review. Uh, very, very impressed with the project. Um, it has nice silk screening. You can see where everything goes. Very large pads to solder onto. Uh, I assembled this kit in probably about uh, 15 minutes. And the instructions, let me pan up to my computer here. 
The instructions are very easy to understand and it's all on Lady Otto's site. And it goes literally step by step on installation of different the different components. And that's pretty much it. Very highly recommend this kit for beginners. And uh, take a look at my website for uh, additional design work. I'm going to do some changes with it and hopefully make it a little bit better. I'm going to share it with everyone out there. Talk to you later.